You know what? I think I just need a couple more days rest. Just a couple more. Let's just sit down. Let's just start tomorrow. Let's just start tomorrow and we can get back into it. But this has been going on for days. What are you doing? No, no, just one more day. I promise. I promise to myself that I will start tomorrow. But you've said this for the last three days, Jack. You've said this for the last week. When's it going to start? No, I will start tomorrow. I promise. Don't be this guy. And I mean both of these people. The lazy mind and the productive mind. Yeah, that lazy mind was the person in the rut. And the productive mind, or quote-unquote productive mind, who was telling me to get off my ass and get going to do something productive like work out, meditate, etc, etc. And I'm going to share with you a technique or a process you can use to quickly get out of a rut. You've probably been told that you need to listen to that voice, to that voice that's telling you to get up and keep going, which is very true. I want you to listen to that voice, but not listen to it in the way you are. Because that pressure, putting pressure on yourself is the thing that's actually holding you back in the first place. That is the thing that is holding you back. I'm going to share with you the secret method, the four-step process I have used multiple times because I've been through a lot of ruts. Matter of fact, I was in one about a week ago. Yeah, for three or four days, I had no willpower, barely any motivation. I was hitting the snooze button until I realized I was actually in a rut. I was easily able to overcome it. And that's what I'm going to share with you right now. But before we do get into it, if you haven't already yet, hit that red subscribe button down below because I'm helping you live your best life through the development of your mind, helping you stay consistent with your goals, helping you build the ultimate self-confidence necessary to live the life of your dreams. But anyways, let's get straight into it. Step one to overcoming or getting through a rut is simply by understanding and discovering and identifying why you're in the position you are right now. What happened in the past? What is happening right now that is causing you to stay in this rut? Why are you continuously playing video games for eight hours a day, even though at the back of your mind, you know it's not good for you? Why do you keep doing this? Is it because you haven't planned a daily schedule for yourself? Is it because you have no goals? Is it because your friends are holding you back? What is the main? I don't want you to come up with a list of 10 things that's holding you back. No, I want you to come up with the things that are holding you back, which you can control. So let's say it is your friends. You can't really control your friends, but you can control not hanging around with them very often, if that's your problem. It may be because you haven't planned your day, so you don't know what the fuck to do. So you go ahead to the thing you feel like doing in the moment, which isn't the best for you in the future, and that's playing video games, eating junk food, etc., etc. whatever your situation is. And I wanna to touch on something really quick. As I was saying in the earlier stages of this video, how you shouldn't listen to the voice, the voice that's telling you to get up and do something. Now, I probably shouldn't have said not listen to it because technically you are listening to it when you do this. But instead of just listening, I want you to observe. Observe why. Yeah, why is that voice inside your head telling you to get up and do something? Why is that the case? Don't just stop when it says you should do something. Why should I do something? Keep asking questions. Don't just listen to it. Ask questions around it because that will build the motivation, the discipline necessary to get off your ass and go and do something. That's what it's going to build. Once you find the root cause, the why behind what you do, that is the key. If you had to do 100 push-ups today, right now, in a matter of about three hours, you would probably do it. And if you're gonna die, if you didn't, you would do it, wouldn't you? Because you had a very, very strong reason behind doing it. And this applies to anything in life. But let's go into step two of the process. How do we get out of a rut? This is going to be countering what you labeled as the thing that's holding you back. So let's say, again, you're playing video games for longer than you want to. It's taking time out of your day, you're very unproductive, you're not doing the necessary things for your future self. You might want to unplug your PlayStation and put it somewhere where you don't go very often. And that will give you time 
if you were to wake up in the morning and wanting or had the urge to play video games, you would have to go to the other room, set it up, which would probably take half an hour. And in that time frame, you could do the thing I said before, which observing what your productive mind is telling you and why your productive mind is telling you to get off your ass and do something that will give you time to do that. That could be a way to counter what's holding you back. So step two in the process of getting out of a rut is finding out, again, finding out why you're in that rut and finding out a way to counter why you're in that rut. Now step three is writing all this down, writing why why you're feeling like this, why you're in a rut, and writing down what you're going to do. The what, the why, and also the how. Yeah, why are you in this situation? What are you going to do and how are you going to do it? Write that down and put it somewhere you can see every single day. That's how you're going to get over it. It's a three-step process, and if you want to add step four, is learning from every single failure. You're going to get into a rut again. You're going to lose motivation again. You're going to lose discipline again. But the most important thing is that you learn from every single failure. That is what's going to take you to the next level. Step one, why? Step two, what? And step three, how? Am I going to do this? What may be for replacing video games, working out. And the how may be working out for 30 minutes a day. That's just an example. And that is how to get out of a rut very quickly in a matter of a, matter of a day, a matter of three days, whatever, whatever. But if you continue to do this, continue to practice, I guarantee you when you get into ruts, you will be able to get out of them in a matter of days, one day, matter of hours, a matter of minutes. And also, before I end this video, if you do like the new background, the new camera, I'm uh, recording with my uh, iPhone right now instead of my Canon camera. So if you like this better, please let me know. If you like the microphone better, please let me know because I want to make the best content for you possible. But with that said, I will catch you. Hang on. If you haven't subscribed already, do that now. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.